SoCal Gaming Conventions. Dates announced. So this is it. big. This is welcome in Pixel Game Squad viewers because this is going out in Pixel Game Squad. If you don't know, this is our podcast called Pixel Plus Pixel Podcast. Search up either. It'll show up. We have dates. We have event. We have location. We have vendors ready to buy tickets. Dusty, are you going to be a vendor? Please tell our audience now. Will you be there, Papa? Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Am I allowed to be a vendor? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> you're, you're, you're let me proof. ask you. Let me yes. ask you another question. Yes. Do I get the booth like kind of in a good spot in the front or in the back corner of the convention center? We can sell you as a celebrity guest. Yeah. I mean, you. You are have notoriety one. for sure. Whether we like you or not, you have notoriety. <laughs> No, we love you, bro. Um, Chris, let, let's hear it. Where are we going? Why are we going? What's the dates? Let's start with that. Do you want to hear about the whole process, or do you just yeah? Want look, that's what this is, man. We got, we got. This is the podcast for those who, you know are new watching, and this is what we do. We talk in detail here. So uh, when we, you know, after we purchased the expo, we went out. We wanted to do our due, dil, due diligence, excuse me, to go out. We looked at a bunch of different shows. So. We looked at, I think, a total of five. We yep. submitted uh, what are called requests for proposals. We wanted to get numbers. We wanted to look at all aspects of this. I know in the comments uh, there was a lot of, you should be here, you should be here. Of course, we could only pick one. Basically, people just picking whatever's closer to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just, in Anaheim. Why aren't you in Anaheim? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there was a lot of factors that we looked at, costs being one of them, of course. Yep. Uh, which excluded a couple that we liked, like, right away. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if we want to be named. Very yeah. yeah. There was some that, and just, you know, any of these conventions are not cheap. You know, the Los yeah. Angeles Convention Center or something, you know, it's going to be like. They were on the list. Well, you can exclude that one. There was not. They were not, on the list. They were on that. the list. We tried. So it's not Los Angeles Convention Center. Uh, we did look in the whole area. We looked at where it was last year. At the end of the day, we found a location which we thought is perfect. It's in a beautiful city. It's bigger than it, Ontario one. It's big. Bigger than Ontario, it is not Ontario. Sorry to all the Ontario. The Ontario I know they're, there was a lot of people. Knowing. They're like, where is it? Because yeah. they're checking off the list now. And again, there was quite a few that we wanted. Beautiful city, the right size. Uh, we did end up going with Pasadena, Pasadena. Pasadena Convention Center. We're in Pasadena. <laughs> so I will say one of the biggest draws for me in there is when I thought about different convention places, we were kind of looking at it. We looked at L.A. Like we said, we looked at some other more rural ones. And what stuck out to me most about Pasadena is it wasn't two city. And it wasn't too rural. It was right there in the middle as like a perfect mix. I think mix. it's a great choice. I mean, you you don't have to fight that crazy L.A. kind of area traffic as much. You can come from, you know, Santa Clarita. You can come up from Anaheim, up from San... You know, you can kind of... It's a good... Yeah. And Definitely you, a good you, little From the Inland Empires. Yep. And you, you know, when you said you, you do Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl Flea Market. Mm -hmm. um, so you're up there every month. I yeah, mean, and it Pasadena is, City College. It has such an awesome feel to it. I don't know what it is about Pasadena. Oh, it's that great city, vibes, dude. It's just such an interesting feel. It's nestled up against the mountains. And when you're it's in beautiful. there, it just has this beautiful, awesome feel I mean, feel I can say it. that, like, some of the neighborhoods in Pasadena and San Marino, are some of the most beautiful neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we, we drive amazing. through them on the way to Rose Bowl. Oh, the and Rose Bowl I am neighborhoods blown ridiculous. away how nice some of these neighborhoods ridiculous. are. So Chris and I went up there together, and we even when you walk out of the convention center, you're literally overlooking the mountains. And this is a place where like it almost feels like a historic town. There's food. There's a movie theater right on top of the convention center. Like, there's literally a full-blown movie theater. There's food everywhere. There's things for people to do, again, without risking being crazy city life. I mean, Pasadena is one of the older cities. Yeah. Yep. Very it's historic. Like California. Yeah, yeah very I love beautiful. going to visit old Pasadena. That's beautiful down there. Yeah. And we wanted a, um, for, for the convention, you know, where it was at Ontario, we, I felt one of the things that it lacked was outside of the convention center, there was really nothing to do. Yes. Yeah. I think with what the show we wanted is to really have people come for the weekend, to be able to venture out, go get something to eat with friends, go yeah. see a movie, Good stay in a life. hotel, and really spend like the whole weekend with the show and offer a lot more to do. And so, And it's beautiful there. Just yeah, and without gorgeous. having to be like, okay, now I, I'm at my hotel, now I should Uber here, Uber there. No, it's all right there. Mm -hmm. Walking distance, safe, nice. Downtown and I, passing in is nice. Yeah, yeah and I know I'm excited for it because like from running re you know, Retro World, the other show yep. that I run, I feel like creating that weekend environment where you are there with your friends all weekend and you're like in and out, not just going, go to the show, buy some games, go home, like go and like experience all the stuff around yep. it to me is like the best. Like if you're going to take the time to go to the show, you yes. might as well stay for You a can leave your merchandise in your car outside and not worry. <laughs> <laughs> very, I wouldn't recommend very, it, but you should be yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, and then just 
very clean, you know, good people. Yeah. yeah. It's just a nice area, you know? Nice, so, nice. So, as of right now, of us actually in this room, us recording this, tickets aren't live, but we are not releasing this video. So, if you are watching it right now, if you are watching, you are watching the video. Hi. Thanks for watching. <laughs> tickets are available right now. We will leave all the information in the description below. Get your tickets. If you're a vendor, get your vending booth. Vendor. We want to have so much fun with this. We want this to, to feel like we've put, you know, years into this community. Us being in this area, even you owning stores in this area, being part of the community. Heck, even you being here as our guest, but you still have been in this, you know, in this community at Golden West in the, this this scene. We want to make it so fun. You don't have to be from SoCal to enjoy it. Come down to this part. You're going to have a blast. We promise. There's some things we want to do in there that... that could be really fun. I think one of the biggest ones, you guys have to let us know in the comments. We're debating and I either between two things. For for like a big fun event, we either want to do YouTube retro gaming boxing. So it'd be like <laughs> any, I mean it could be I don't, I'm not naming names yet, but it could, it could be Metal Jesus versus Dusty John, John Riggs. Riggs. <laughs> That's oh, a good yeah. Dusty versus I I proposed uh Ricky and Riff mud wrestling. Ricky's strong, but I'm slippery. You should, just, <laughs> you should just order like a mechanical bowl, dude. How about that? But that would be fun too. Sign a waiver. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the and then the other one I want. Might wanted, not be in the insurance. The other one I want to do, obviously inspired by over the top i want to have like a really 80s 90s looking legit arm wrestling tournaments between youtubers and also guests as well but obviously with the youtubers i want it to be i want the trash talk to be on videos i want shady J and i want whoever else to be with their backwards hot shooting me an epic promo of them just trash talking their opponents i have to tell you i am really good at arm wrestling Ooh, I, I am you. really good when I was in high He's school, I was like one of the. I was, I'm, you know, I was one of the best arm wrestlers. Chris against Devin. Well, I, hate to, I hate to tell you this about arm wrestling. <laughs> I am really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's any leg matches, I'm all in. I guess I. Me and you would be a good competition then. Yeah, I totally. <laughs> I, I don't have upper body strength. I haven't quite, uh, acqu- you know, I'm an old man in the soul, but I haven't quite acquired the old man strength yet. Oh, dang, you're working. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I bet you. You're you a dad. I know you've told because, you've acquired yeah. it. Welcome. Oh, yeah. I'm telling I you, we didn't say that. You may not realize it yet. If you see something happening to your child, you will be able to lift a car. You'll be, you be able to throw a human being across like a noodle. You have, you don't even know. The minute your baby comes out, ah, that's it. You have dad strength. Is that like May the power, power be blessed upon you? <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. I always wondered how tweakers could like carry like a 400 pound copper pipe into the middle of the desert. You this know, is not always expecting this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you guys have dates announced, like what is the process that you guys are going to be going into now? There's a lot to do, first off. There is so many different pieces of the puzzle of putting a convention together. Of course, there's hundreds of vendors. Uh, the vendor applications will go out. So um, if you are interested in vending, please uh, check the info. We, we um, don't have like a rough estimate yet of I how do, many I, vendors. Oh, go ahead. Give it about, to me. Uh, I think we were working on floor plan the other day around 168, I believe. Which is more 10 than by 10 year. boot. Uh, significantly more. Yes. Yeah, this is a much bigger space than Ontario, by the way, as well. The big question is going to be, is Ricky going to have a booth for his hoarding collection? You know what? I will. I got you, bro. What about Um, my discount, fool? We got you. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to give you the ultimate wax price. Oh, yeah. I get get double price? (laughs) Yeah, you get taxed up. (laughs) Oh, man. Is this where you get your money back? (laughs) Hey, side note. If you like what you're seeing here, we have a channel called Pixel Plus. You can search it up on YouTube. I'll leave a link down below. And this is where we do our full podcast like this all the time. Obviously, this is what we wanted to share with the main channel, Pixel Game Squad, because it's our big event. But uh, check out Pixel Plus if you like what you're seeing here in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. (laughs) I told Blake. I was a Blake wanted to be a vendor. I was like, dude, you're going to get taxed so hard. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude. Uh, no, of course we will the be fair. Right. It, uh, I think there was some questions on like, is it first come first serve or is it application? It is application basis, so there will be an application. We will look at all of those. Um, there, you know, we're looking at artists, uh, video game vendors, pop culture vendors, um, anything really related to pop culture. And the majority is going to be, you know, video game. So, yeah, you could be a T-shirt vendor, uh, pop vendor. Uh, yep. It doesn't have to just be video. Games. You're expanding the uh, the category of uh, different types of. Vendors. Yes, yep. but while keeping gaming the core, let me make sure that's clear. I know a lot of people, some conventions, people are like, hey, there wasn't enough games. Games will be 100% far and large. Always. The focus. Oh, yeah. yeah 100%. Comic 85%, book vendors 90%. Uh, comics are, are fine. And artists, you know, we do love artists too. Like if yeah, you're, them. you know, if uh, we will have artist booth tables, they'll actually be a different price. Better um, paint Nintendo games, though. 
Are you guys going to have like exclusive <laughs> things come out for VIP people who do purchase early? Yes. As of we now, will. that is the tentative plan to have right. like yes. a turbo pass or whatever one of the yes. blast processing pass where you can come. We're just finalized. In early. <laughs> yeah. I didn't well. say you had to say the price or anything. I was just saying like, will you have exclusive things for it? That's all. Yes, there's yes. going to be exclusives. There's going to be, I want to work on some trophies that are super unique to the show. I want to keep it interesting. want to keep it fun. I think a big p- bonus about, you know, not even like tooting our horn, but, you know, bringing us on obviously is that you know we do creative stuff online right so a big excitement for me is the creative stuff of it right i take and i see what conventions do and as someone who's consumed conventions for so long and consumed this art form of conventions that i'm like i know the things that i'm like oh that would just make it next level and i don't even want to say what they are because i, I don't want other conventions to i don't want retro world to know, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> until the day we go there and you're like oh that's sick that that's there that's you want pretty to set cool. the stage set the stone yeah i want people to come in and just be like the oh innovator. why hasn't this been happening at conventions and with retro world um get with, that out of here about, <laughs> I don't, I don't even talk about retro world. Look but i used you. to have a sheet that was called uh wild and wacky ideas and it was just for people to like throw any idea idea out there yeah. you know and even if you guys have an idea like th- th- throw it out to us like we might be like you know what even if it sounds mud wrestling might be really cool maybe we'll give it a <laughs> shot so um of course with everything work. there is logistics and planning that goes into it uh there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle with the show yeah. uh from you know of course we wanted to improve the amount of arcade machines that are there we're talking with quite a few different groups to improve that uh we want to improve the tournaments that are going to be there we have some Possibly some big announcements uh, yeah, with huge. some of the tournaments that might be involved. Which is hard because there's so much for us to spew about, but we also can't spew all of it. You well, know? and a lot of it hasn't been, because it's still early, some of that fine details hasn't been worked yeah, out. Rick's most... going to set up his uh, 342 inch TV and have a speed challenge on Mario. That would be <laughs> awesome. That would be, you know what? Speed running would be incredible oh, to have. Awesome. I would yeah. love Especially, to have speed running. And I would say running. it'd be fun to put the pressure on because I know a lot of speed running is like, okay, I'm going to try again, restart, restart, like one run. One try, one chance, speed run that. Because a lot of people I know with speed running, you might not get through it on that first, you know, no. ahead. It's like, ah, oh, shoot, I died. I'm going to restart. But no, mm-hmm. restart. Who got the furthest in that speed run? Calculator. That being right said, now. y'all better practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but obviously the most important thing and exciting thing for us was to give you guys, you know, the place, the dates. Did we even say June 8th and 9th? I, I hope we said it. I yeah. couldn't remember if you said it, if but it is June 8th and 9th. Yeah, we're just saying uh, it now. June, what day did you say? June 8th and 9th. <laughs> okay. Just you better be there. At Pasadena Convention Center, Tickets all the already. info should be there. All the vendor info is up. It is going to be an incredible time. I am so looking forward to putting this together. It is a lot of work, but we have an awesome team. Dusty's going to be there. You can meet him. There's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of surprise guests that people don't know about that I have in the works that I don't want to say because there's been no conversation contract signed but that will be there that are you, very exciting you know i'm totally gonna pirate your show bro i'm just gonna pull into my <laughs> box truck into the parking lot out front just dump all these pots and pans out on the parking space those tires yep. he has <laughs> we, we actually we <laughs> actually <laughs> I'm gonna just do a I'm just gonna set was, up Golden West right in was, the parking lot. I used to complain. joke. Uh-huh, I used to no. joke around with the buddy that was a flea market vendor, but where he flea marketed was in the dirt, and I was like, "Dude, come van, we'll put dirt out for you on the ground. <laughs> we'll make you feel as comfortable as possible. Yo. So whatever we can make to do for you to make it feel like Golden yeah, West. Dude. I mean, people were asking for that experience, a swap meet experience at a convention. Just I mean, come, come offer dude, me like a quarter for something. Dude, make we, it feel home. We just have a section <laughs> called Dusty Swap Meet, and it's like a little maybe four by four. You area. can set up a little garbitrage area. <laughs> it's garbage. It's pots and I'm just going to find, I'm just gonna find as many bags of like broken, random, dirty toys that I could find. It's a big mountain you could dive into like Dude, Scrooge that would be McDuck. incredible. Like a huge mountain of toys. That That's not going to awesome. probably happen, but maybe it will. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's possible, let us know. We're, we're, we're running out of time, but just you guys got to check it out. Don't, it doesn't have to be SoCal only. Come have fun. I promise you guys you'll have fun. We'll be there, and if you don't agree, you can come yell at us in person so. yeah. it's gonna be fun yeah it'll I, be great. I feel very confident in your, your skills to book a great event thank, thank you Dusty yeah, I appreciate so it what day did you say again <laughs> June 8th and 9th okay I was just checking I just toss us out Curtis alright I just wanna say all the audio link description well, all the audio podios the podios wow <laughs> <Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da>. <laughs> I'm done let's get it again you should become an auctioneer bro all podcasts in their audio form will be linked, linked in the, the description, description below, below. <laughs> I wasn't ready at all you weren't ready I was ready to just close it out the sweet YouTube oh I love it. Hook Show Cow, we'll see you there.